Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a profile that when anybody logs into it, it'll create the exact same profile as you just did on this profile. So first things first, there's a bunch of little apps here we don't want. So we're just going to unpin them, unpin, unpin, unpin. They're still going to be there though, but uh, we don't want them there. You could go out there and uh, delete them. But they'll usually say in the start menu, when a new profile gets uh, created, it'll just show up on all the little profile thingies. So we just want to, most of these are ads and stuff you don't really want. So um, we don't want the store and we can just remove it from here too. And you can add whatever you need to the taskbar. You can set any home page you want. You can position the uh, Google Chrome wherever you want it. So right now we're just going to pin it to the taskbar. And we'll remove this guy. Because it's for school. So you're just going to load the bare essentials on it. And we can probably delete this guy here. We don't want it. And it's uh, not a non-admin account. The same goes for this. You just remove what you don't want, uninstall what you don't want. I already installed Office, so I don't need that. Group music, mail, maps, messaging, uh, probably solitaire collection, we could just uninstall it. Mixed reality, don't care for that. One node, one node. Paint BD, I guess we could leave it there. Um, just tailor it to your needs. At this point, make sure you have all your uh, plugins, all your readers, Adobe, Java, Flash, anything you want and make sure you open it up and select all the license and term and everything, all that agreements and all that. So next time, um, like for example, this one, we want to default it to this. So there we go. Set all your defaults, all whatever you need, because you know how when it uh, creates a new profile, it'll just do whatever it wants on this um, Windows 10. So once you open it up, you can just close it, close all this junk, and make sure you have all your stuff ready. So if you open a uh, Internet Explorer, it might ask you down here if you want to enable Java or whatever plugins you enabled. If that's the case, go ahead. If not, just leave it as is. Like right here, you want to enable the Adobe extension, of course, because that's what you installed it for. Okay, directly, okay, whatever. So that's why you want to open pretty much everything. I'm not a Firefox fan, but you never know. Sometimes it'll ask you for little things if you want to enable this or that. Also, you might want to open up Excel. It'll ask you like many things. Install updates or ask me later. You can ask me later. Or if you want to install updates, go for it. And just make sure it gets uh, activated. It's activated. Okay. So you open that and pretty much that's it. So whatever you choose to keep here. Any background you want to do. Any anything you want to do it'll stay for all the users let's say you choose this little background or this one or whatever that's the one all profiles are gonna get no, that one's kind of boring anyway just select whatever you want one more thing before I forget um I'm already on a, on the other admin account so we could um, do the um, profile redirect thing before I forget make sure you select the default printer if you have like multiple printers this is the best time to do it on the profile you want to do to copy to all of them make sure you do this select the printer you want to default that's the best way to do it actually that's a way the only way I found well there's several ways but the more convenient way to do it just uh, make sure you select it on the profile you want it and it will just 
copy all those settings to the new profiles. Now for the profile redirecting, you right click as the administrator on the command prompt. And it's gonna say, do you wanna, yes, I, that's what I did. So I don't know why it's asking, but that's Microsoft, of course. So here, I have a little program called That program is called Def, where is it? Okay, there we go. Def Prof or Prof, default profile, exe. That's what it's, you can look it up, you can Google it, but this is a proper way to do it. There's not much documentation. So um, you're just gonna put a def prof exe, then the name of the profile that you just created with all your settings and all that. I called mine user. So def prof exe user. You hit enter. And it's gonna say, you know what? Def prof needs to install the forensic apex manager service to manage Windows service for the default profile. Is this okay? Obviously yes, that's why you're calling this commands. So it's gonna do its thing. Um, it's running wallpaper copied okay and it's just gonna go through and it's gonna say the default profile has been successfully updated yay so anyway that's how you do it so remember anything you did on the other um, on the other profile so we're gonna test it out let's uh, log off of this guy so you see on this one, I had already created before I did the profile redirect. That's why it copied all this junk. On the other profile, I asked it to uh, not to show this up. So this one, I, uh, I logged into this profile before, um, before I did that little script thing. So I'm gonna log out, sign out. So now we're gonna try uh, John Doe account because I'm not John Doe I'm somebody else random and let's see how it goes and you will notice that it's gonna take away the hi welcome we're glad to that you're here all that um, stupid nonsense from uh, Microsoft all that welcome screen and all that on average it'll take like around a minute and a half to two minutes depending on how much stuff you loaded on your um, computer so I don't want to record a spinning thing like uh, Oh, I don't see why not. Let's see how long it takes. But let me tell you, it's a lot less than, there we go. So you see all the stuff you did, all your pins down here. And my camera is terrible. So you saw that little script thing. So now I'm J Doe. And that's my IP and it's an internal IP so so there it is pretty much anything I did it copied over to this profile I guess that's pretty much it self-explanatory tweak it tailor it to your needs man hope this helps you guys because it took me ages to figure this out and it will load a lot faster than if you do the regular profile remember um, well, on this one, I only have a, also the the thing I remove all the stuff that was here. So all that um, stuff is gone. So I just left whatever I wanted. And there you have it. Less than a minute to load to create the profile. I mean, what else can we ask for? We don't get all the solitaire and Candy Crush and all that junk over here. I don't see why they put it in there. If, if you want it, you can install it yourself. I removed the uh, App Store. It's still there though. If you go in there and do a search for the App Store, or it's not the App Store, it's a Windows Store, it's still gonna be there. But uh, I mean, just at a first glance, you don't want it to be there. So, um, oh, hope that helped you guys. It did help me a lot. Thank you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want uh, another tutorial for me to how to do this, go ahead and put it down on the comments. And have a great, whatever you have, day, afternoon, or night, whatever time it is. Bye-bye.